Tila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an Admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. And you're too young. And are you even in the military? Is every Quarian in the military? Or is it required? Can she be a consultant at, what, 20, 22, 24, max? Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of Geth. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. You bet, girl. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Not if it's a repeat. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I'm trying to remember... What was his name? Salarian Infiltration Specialist. Hundred Story Man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. Okay, so you gonna try to kill him? I should let you go. Talk more later, shall People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult. But he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family. But I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Yeah, I know. When I'm a thief, I, I just keep on stealing. I don't try to change my life when I have a rev revelation that, uh, I don't know, stealing is bad. <laughs> not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target. Forcing me to move faster. Challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you'd plan to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose. A cause to die for. A chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. Yay! Now he's on repeat. <laughs> 
Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good Spectre. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. You did, and she did. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices, big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. After they were dead, so how did they die? Did you kill them? Or did your enemies kill them? What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the Citadel. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. I know, Vegeta. You got a lot of Paragon there. You're coming an old softy. What is this, Dragon Ball Super? Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. 
Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. We can't deconstruct the virus in yourself. You gotta find out from the original. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics' logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes. Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. No, I'm still not seeing it. The real Geth, or the way he claims it, doesn't want to kill organics. They want to self-determinate. They don't want to copy, but the false ones following the old machines the heretics want to take the reaper tech and move along and destroy the way out so it doesn't think their way it seems a little different than three minus two and two minus one if it were released how quickly would this virus spread through your people we are networked via ftl com buoys most would change within a day Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station, on the edge of the Terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. My neck hurts just looking at that thinking I have to stay with my neck turned to the right all the time while they're doing hawking just turn your body and get look straight what defenses should we expect in space none with them mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets how many get there may be billions of individual programs fortunately most will be uploaded to the central computer only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time Others are manufactured when needed. Heretic headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Repeat, repeat. Oh, 
Oh, I guess we're done. I don't think I've ever checked in on a map many times before. Kelly, you still feeding my fish. photo was down. Not to even looked at it once. was removed from the star charts by 2050. Reconstructed, upgraded by a massive effort. Must have taken 10 years. Home to get the Accor. A death guess the Accor. One of many. As it, he, You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Yep. Again, do not use them. <laughs> Approach the hull of these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. All right, Joker. Turn it down. alarms sensors have been reduced we have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits and that helps us how the heretics must scrub this junk data they have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert we've got a job to do let's get to it Shepard commander we concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. 
Either way, these Geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these Geth, they'll join the others. Legion's Geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. I know. It's like it was written that way. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. If this were an organic race, it might be an ethical problem. Geth aren't like organic life. Don't apply our morality to them. That is logical. You agree with that? No two species are identical. All must be judged on their own merits. Treating every species like one's own is racist. Even benign anthropomorphism. The minds of both forms of life can be shamed. Organics require time and effort. With synthetics, replacement of a data file is the only requirement. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardwood routers. Weapons ready. resources in the Geth hubs. We could salvage them. Why are all the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms. Hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less comprehend less it is quieter if you exchange data memories how do you keep track of which ones are yours how do you stay you there is only we we were created to share data among ourselves the difference between Geth is perspective we are many eyes looking at the same things one platform will see things another does not and will make different judgments yeah but when you come together you have the same consensus right that's what you just said you combine your knowledge and you find out what the others knew so you all have the same memories if that's the case is rewriting the heretics that big a deal they're like a rogue limb of your own body rewriting them would be like reattaching a severed arm to use your metaphor they removed themselves from our body took their perspective their judgment. They decided to worship Sovereign. I don't think you're missing much. Every point of view is useful, even those that are wrong, if we can judge why a wrong view was accepted. For example, we have found the casual self-deceptions of organics useful in analyzing your thought processes. Let's keep moving. Yes.
can assume control of any defensive turret. They will assist us briefly, then self-destruct. Hacking turret. I guess it was a flank? Even though he's still on angle? Whatever. Whatever you say, game. I guess you're correct and I'm wrong. We can assume control of any defensive turret. They will assist us briefly, then self-destruct. Attacking your target. Why? Why? Every time. Targeting below. Mild thermal clips.
fighting your target. I can turn. I never expect you to die a lot or revive your teammates. I'll just straight up die and just start again. <laughs> Infinite respawns. They've seen it. <laughs> Knock him out of cover. I had no idea Gap built stations this large. The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may rumble up a little bit. Targeting order process. <laughs> I 
I, 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 I pushed cloak. I had it. I had it back. Fine. I didn't. Okay, game. Whatever. Like, once again, you know best. Thermal clips, really? these databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of Geth. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. But I'm aware of them. I just can't see them. Is that what she's trying to say? They can't see us? But they're aware of us? This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have run times within our networks. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. The heretics were biding their time, waiting for an opportunity to attack you. If they reached this judgment before they left, we would have heard it in their thoughts. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? The flip side of freedom is responsibility. They made a bad choice. Let them own it. You're not responsible for their decisions. That argument is logical for an individual mind. We are not fully individuals. There are pieces of us in the heretics. One of those may be at fault. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Completely irrelevant. Has no impact on this mission whatsoever. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable. Others rewrite. Some? Okay, some. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judged as Let's keep moving. Yes. Yes.
Yeah, ammo around here. What the fuck? Where's your respawn thermal clips? into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? You can override these like you did the earlier turrets. They can help defend our position. Correct. In addition to the turrets around us, there are others on the mainframes below. Indicate which you want activated, and we will program them. This will only last a few seconds. Wait. I want to scout the area first. Ready. Yes, because Tally... ...doesn't have her eyes back because she died. Well, she wasn't the other one. Tally, come here. Okay, get your eyes back. Okay. Begin the upload now. Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Hacking turret. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Just to use, <laughs> so used to playing Vanguard here. Begin the upload now. Wait, I want to scout the area first. Ready, alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Tally, let me see your eyes. Tally. Alert. Okay. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms.
probably take run times downloading to mobile platforms. Every time, Tally. my way, Legion.
you stop with the fucking auto aim, please? I beg of you. has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. <sighs> What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. Well, if they're rewritten, the machines, right? Plus, I mean, democracy, yay! 51% over the 50%. Or the 50.1% over the 49.9%. <laughs> However you want to look at it. <laughs> yay, democracy. If they're rewritten, your people will accept them back. Will they even want to go back? They will agree with our judgments in return. We will integrate their experiences. All will be stronger. Take them then. When we get control of the core, release the virus. Take them. Take them all. Releasing virus. Note, remote access via high gain transmission required. What does that mean? The virus will be sent to heretics in nearby star systems. This station will broadcast a powerful electromagnetic pulse through FTL channels. How powerful? Yield in excess of 1.21 petawatts. Alert. EM flux will be hazardous to unshielded organic forms. Addendum. The interior of this station is not shielded. I really wish you'd said that before. Back to the ship. Double time, people. Cover you, moron. Are you shooting? What the fuck are you doing over there?
just in time. Rewriting Geth Heretics will make main Geth factions. Main? I thought it's all now. Significantly more powerful. Given perception of Reapers, they are maybe possible allies. Though long term cooperation remains unlikely. Regardless, data recovered from a Geth station offered valuable insight into AI social and technological processes. Legion should be committed to the mission after Shepard's help with the Geth heretics. Yay! Who cares about experience? I'm already max level. Why must you show me this? Yay. Geth shield boost. Oh boy. Co-op Geth shield technology. <laughs> okay, whatever. I think I'll have my fucking armor piercing rounds. Thank you very much. How do I get an extra 3,000? Wait. No, it's the same. Okay, 30. Alright. Oh my. You better get down to the AI core. I'm on it, Joker. One of these, these talks again, huh? Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We already made the Geth stronger by rewriting the ones that worship the Reapers. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet by giving them more information. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a get on the team, but this is too much. And this is where Mark Mir outshines Jennifer Hale in this one sequence. It's very rare that Mark Mir can out, out like, uh, voice act Jennifer Hale in these games. But he does it here. And Tally, just for the record, that shuriken's not gonna do jack shit to fucking Legion. Look at you. Both of you. This is exactly what the Reapers want. Tally, of course the Geth are worried about your people. You want to destroy them. It's not that simple. And Legion, what the hell were you thinking? Are you trying to undermine this entire operation? We did not intend to decrease operational efficiency. We are on a mission. You can either fight at my side or get crushed under my heel. But you will not stand in my way. So it's passionate. To that. facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. Aww, teamwork. <laughs> Way to go, Vegeta. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? They will isolate themselves and reconsider their past judgments. How long will that take? We think at the speed of light. In the time it takes you to voice a question, I can review all my time aboard Normandy. When they have reached new judgments, they will leave their hiding places and return to us. Your time aboard Normandy hasn't been that... much? I have questions about the Geth. Specify. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready? I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. But we just came back from a big mission. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Mm -hmm.
Shepard. I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that. You have been a good friend to me. <laughs> uh, for what? <laughs> Two hours of FaceTime? I want more. Samara, we have a connection. I am sorry, Shepard. I respect you, but I feel no such connection. I've seen you do too many things that would compel me to violence if I were not under oath to you. My apologies. Aww. I should meditate. Aww. Aww. <laughs> what the hell? I was already in there. Why'd you open the door? Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. No, he got friend zoned. <laughs> hey, got a minute? I have to say, that Jacob. Mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for blasphemy. Okay, repeat girl. This mission takes me back. Nice ship you got here. Rumi. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. Okay. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operators uh, he's I back killed. To repeat. Lost track around 50. Guess you're a elusive man's big on forgiveness. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Uh, sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bush tet. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry. It won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. So isn't that chickenpox, except without the pox? How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly. But one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Yeah. Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. Uh. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. What kind of seals do you have in your suit? Because, you know, doors or metal or some kind of alloy. It doesn't move, it doesn't bend, but you have flesh, it moves, it bends, it conforms. You push on it, it'll keep on compressing until it spurts because you push too hard. Weird. I gotta see these seals. Show me! Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. 
they were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. <laughs> It's just that their tradition also signifies a willingness for an um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? I can see how she's cute. But considering how he's supposed to be like... What is he supposed to be? 31, 32 now? And she's what? 20, 22? I guess it's only a 10 year difference gap. She sounds, seems more like a kid's sister. At least to me. You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't... Kn you never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. Yeah, but you don't want to get some of that. <laughs> and then the girl waiting in the wings. Down. One floor. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just... You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out you're not? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. If you need to think, I can wait. For a while. I just... This is so strange for me, and you just keep pushing. What am I supposed to do with that? You're weird, Shepard. That kind of gets me off. about that time. The IFF is newly yep. installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Good job reforming those Geth, Commander. That'll never bite us in the ass. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Oh, is that... Uh, basically saying, why didn't you bring this forward now that I know what the truth is? The Quarians will be the first to rise from the ashes. Okay. I can complete what he started cordially. 